So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. We will discuss transform quadratic function into vertex form. In quadratic function, the general form, that is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, y, it is also equal with f of x. The highest exponent of the quadratic function, that is the degree of 2, where a, b, and c, that is real numbers, and this a should not be equal to 0. So the vertex form or the standard form of the quadratic function, that is y equals a, the quantity x minus h square plus k. To get the vertex of the parabola, that could be the value of h and then k. How to transform a general form of the quadratic function into vertex form? So, how to convert? To convert, let us use the completing the square of the quadratic function. Let us rewrite y equals x squared minus 6x minus 11 in standard form. And let us identify the value of a, h, and then k. The vertex form must be written, or the standard form must be written in y equals a, the quantity x minus h square plus k. So let us solve now. So this is the equation. So let us combine x squared minus 6x. Let us write the parentheses. Afterwards, let us complete the square inside the parentheses and then outside the parentheses. So maglalagay tayo ng blank the number to be added to make this equation a completing the square. So, ano kayo number to be added inside and outside the parentheses? So, the formula, that is b divided by 2 square. So, the value of b, that is negative 6 divided by 2 and then square. Negative 6 divided by 2, that is equal to negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3, that is equal to positive 9. So, the number to be added, that is equal to 9. 9 times 1 is 9, so it means the number to be added is equal to 9. So, let us solve now for the square of binomial. So, that becomes the square root of x squared, that is x, copy the sign of b, the square root of 9 is 3, and then square. So, if we want to check x times x is x squared, x times negative 3 is negative 3x times 2, that is negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 3, that is positive 9. Afterwards, let us add outside the parentheses, negative 11 and negative 9, that is negative 20. So the vertex form of this equation or the standard form that is equal to y equals the quantity x minus 3 square minus 20. Let us identify now the a, h, and k. The value of a that is equal to 1 the value of h, if h is equal to negative 3, change the sign, that becomes positive 3. Because based on the formula, that is x minus h. So you need to change the sign to identify the value of h. How about the value of k? So k, we need to copy, that is equal to negative 20. a is 1, h is equal to 3, and k equals negative 20. In example number 2, let us express y equals x squared plus 2x minus 5 into the standard form. Find the value of a, h, and then k. So this is the standard or the vertex form. So first, we need to copy the equation. And let us combine x squared and then 2x. So let us write the parentheses. And then to make this equation a completing the square, we need to add inside the parentheses and then outside the parentheses so as you can see plus and then minus so the formula b divided by 2 square so the value of b that is 2 divided by 2 square 2 divided by 2 that is equal to 1 1 times 1 that is equal to 1 so the number to be added inside the parentheses that is equal to 1 1 times 1 is 1 so the number to be added is 1 so Afterwards, let us get the square of binomial that becomes the square root of x squared, that is x, 
copy the sign that is positive, square root of 1 is 1, and then square. Negative 5 minus 1, that is equal to negative 6. So the standard form of the quadratic function that is equal to y equals the quantity x plus 1 square minus 6. Let us identify now the a. a, that is equal to 1. h, positive 1, change the sign, that becomes negative 1. K, copy, that is negative 6. A is equal to 1, H equals negative 1, and then K equals negative 6. How about example number 3? Express Y equals 2X squared plus 8X minus 22 into the standard form, or the vertex form of the equation. And let us identify the value of A, H, and K. So let us copy the equation. So, we will combine 2x squared plus 8x. So, ito yung lalagyan natin ng parentheses. And then, this one, negative 22, outside the parentheses. So, the common factor between 2x squared and 8x is 2. So, 2 divided, 2x squared divided by 2, that is x squared. 8x divided by 2, that is 4x, and then copy negative 22. Afterwards, let us complete the square. So, what could be the number to be added inside the parentheses and then outside the parentheses? So, that is plus and then minus. So, let us compute. So, the value of B, that is 4, divided by 2, square. 4 divided by 2 is 2, square. 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. So, the number to be added inside the parentheses, that is equal to 4. And then afterwards, 4 times 2 is 8. So the number to be added, that is equal to 8. So let us solve now. y is equal to 2, and then the square root of x squared is x. Copy the sign, that is positive. The square root of 4 is 2, and then square. Let us add negative 22 minus 8, that is equal to negative 30. So the standard form of the quadratic function that is y equals to the quantity x plus 2 square minus 30. Let us identify a, h, and k. a, that is equal to 2, and then h is positive 2, change the sign, that becomes negative 2. And then k, that is equal to negative 30. a equals 2, h equals negative 2, and then k equals negative 30. Let us express 2x squared plus y equals 10x minus 5 into the standard form. And let us identify the value of a, h, and k. First, we need to copy the equation. And let us rewrite this one into the general form. So the general form, that is equal to y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So it means 2x squared, we need to change the sign. So bring down y, change the sign, that is negative 2x squared. Bring down 10x, bring down negative 5. And then let us write the parentheses for negative 2x squared plus 10x. The common factor between negative 2 and 10, that is negative 2. So negative 2x squared divided by negative 2, that is equal to positive x squared. Positive 10x divided by negative 2, that is negative 5x. And then bring down negative 5. So let us complete the square. So let us see what could be the number to be added inside the parentheses and then outside the parentheses. So the formula b divided by 2 squared. So the value of b is an odd number, so that is negative 5 divided by 2 squared. So negative 5 cannot be divided exact, so it means let us multiply the numerator and then the denominator. Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. So the number to be added inside the parentheses, that is equal to 25 over 4. And then afterwards, let us multiply outside, that is negative 2. So 25 over 4 times negative 2. So 25 over 4 times negative 2. So let us cancel, that becomes negative 25 over 2. So this one, that becomes negative 25 over 2. So y equals negative 2. Square root of x squared is x. Copy the sign. Square root of 25 is 5. And then square root of 4, that is equal to 2. And then square. So how about this one? We have different denominator. Yung isa 1, yung isa 2. 
So, kailangan, same siya ng denominator. So, it means that becomes negative 5 times 2. That becomes negative 10 over 2. So, this one, negative 10 over 2, that is also equal to negative 5. So, negative 10 over 2, negative times negative is positive 25 over 2. So, negative 10 over 2 plus 25 over 2, that becomes positive 15 over 2. So, the standard form of the quadratic function that is y equals negative 2, the quantity x minus 5 over 2 square plus 15 over 2. So, let us identify a, h, and k. a, that is equal to negative 2. h, negative 5 over 2, change the sign, that becomes positive 5 over 2. And then k, that is 15 over 2. So, a equals negative 2 h equals 5 over 2, and then k equals 15 over 2. Instruction, transform into the standard form of the quadratic function. Give the value of a, h, and k. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.